check, charge of cash. Cash and uh need out to tax demolition Tucson. 78830. Hey, taking me to breakfast? I can't. I'm eating Bosco. Hey, Vincent. Mom, where are my barrettes? Hi, sweetie. I saw them on the kitchen table. They're not there. I already checked. Want me to make coffee? No school today? My dad's picking me up. He's taking me to the new building and then to lunch. Try under the cushions on the sofa. He's already a half an hour late. You're gonna show her that son of a bitch gonna stand her up like last time. I'll make coffee. I'm out of time, baby. Mom, where are my barrettes? They're not on the couch. Oh, where are the blue ones? I don't want to wear the blue ones. They don't match. Did you check in your bathroom? I checked everywhere. Well, what do you want me to do? Find them. Mom, pay attention. Hey, sweetie, all right. What? Daddy's gonna be here. Well, okay, he's gonna be. I'm not gonna be ready. Yeah. I can't be late. He won't be late. No, I will be late. Okay, listen. Before Daddy comes, we can find them together. If we look together, it's all right, baby. It's all right. <laughs> it's all right. It's all right. We'll find them together. You and me will find them together. Just relax. He won't come before we find them. I promise you. Another refill. Now we will refill. What's your name? Wayne Grove.
just crossed over the number one lane. 300 yards from you now. Get set. I am. Here we go. There's the call. Three minutes. Clear! Seconds left. Get back. Get back. Get back. Hey, Slick. You see that shit coming out of their ears? They can't fucking hear you. Cool it. I got it. Got it. You wanna fuck with me? You wanna fuck with me? Million six. Forty cents on the dollar, six hundred forty thousand to you. Nine hundred fifty front money. Get you the rest two, three days. Know who owns these? Malibu Equity and Investments. Roger Van Zandt. Owns banks in the Caymans. 
runs investment portfolios for offshore drug money. Stuff like that. So? So? He ripped off his bearer bonds. Mm -hmm. He's got insurance. That's the point. He collects 100% from the insurance. He's a player. Maybe he buys his bonds back from us for 60% of their value. Make 40% on top of the 100%. Sell it back to him instead of going to the street. That's an extra 320,000 to you. Try it out. Kelso called. About what? The score he's putting out wants you to look at. What do I need his score for? I got my own. It says it's clean in low eight figures. 9 a.m. tomorrow. What happened out there? Don't ask. Me. Find the ambulance? Dumped it. Four blocks from here. We're going to track street between Figaro and Flower. They torched it, burn everything, the guns, clothes, everything. They were airborne. They take the last few seconds of the black and white doing demolition derby. Stolen out of Fresno two weeks ago. The yellow pickup truck out of Whittier day before yesterday. You taking this one, Lieutenant? Or does it stay in division? This look like gangbangers working the local 7-Eleven you? Robbery homicides take me out. All yours. We got three motorists. All they saw were men with masks. They were distant. Console TV man over there, however, he was closer. The ID anybody? Well, he was hiding. He heard it mostly. Okay, what about them? All right, now according to TV man, this guy started mouthing off. Smart? Yeah, somebody called a guard slick. Slick? Yeah. Now this guy, I figured this guy went for that holdout piece ankle holster, right? Here. Bang, 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 bang. The side. This guy here has got what appears to be a double tap entry wound to the sternum. Tattooing around the head wound, scorched bone, close range, probably executed. And it was a million six in bearer bonds. And they ignored the loose cash. Because they had no time, because they were on a clock. Which means they knew our response time to a 211. Had our air, immobilized it, entered, escaped in under three minutes. It's a good spot here. We got good escape routes, two freeways within a quarter of a mile. Traffic video camera, probably disabled. Check it anyway. You recognize the MO? MO is that they're good. Once it escalated into a murder one B for all of them after they killed the first two guards, they didn't hesitate. Pop guard number three, because what difference does it make? Why leave a living witness? Drop of a hat, these guys will rock and roll. The shape charge. The shape charge indicates that they are technically proficient. Proficient enough to go in on the prowl, so let's start looking for recent highline burglaries that have mystified us. Run slick as an alias to the FBI. You're gonna get the phone book. Do it anyway. Who's moving the bearer bonds? Check the usual fences. You and I will check Cusimano and Torino. I want you to take Goldstein and Alfaro. Hang in with forensics. From the bomb squad, I want the explosive. If we're lucky, it's exotic. We can trace the sale. Get your hand out of that man's pocket, Rachel. Hello, Vincent. Don't want some pie? I gotta go to the job. making a move. I had to get it on. This 
splits of the car took out of ours evenly to make up for his full end. Because I want to pay off and get rid of this motherfucker right now. <laughs> Where's the rest? We're late. Ooh, you look too good to go out. Could just jump you right here. Where is it? Uh, square the bookies, baby. It's more in a couple days, so don't square it. Come on, we really are late. Yeah, come on. You gotta be kidding me. Honey, it ain't worth the risks you take for 8,000. Like in risk versus reward, baby. <sighs> Let's go. Get your coat. There is no point talking to you, because all you are is a child growing older. What's this supposed to mean? It means we're not making forward progress like real grown-up adults live in our lives, because I'm married to a gambling junkie who won't listen. Charlene, get in the fucking car. What am I doing in this rat bastard situation? You're not! What do you want from me? Leave the bank book and the car keys in the kitchen on your way out the door. Now, are we going or are you we going along? You could keep that other crap, but Dominic would go with me. Don't you even think about Tell me Albert Torina called back. Albert Torina called Vincent? No. No. Report came in. The explosive was Diex, linear shaped charge used in demolition. She can pick it up with a driver's license in Nevada, Arizona, New Mexico. Too common to trace a sale, Vincent. Oh, that's wonderful. dad show up didn't call didn't show he waited for you till 10 30. does this guy have any idea what's going on with this kid i don't know fucking jerk oh is she okay she's been in her room all day so no she's not okay 
Neither am I. Uh, I made dinner for us four hours ago. Um, every time I try to maintain a consistent mood between us, you withdraw. I got three dead bodies on a sidewalk off Venice Boulevard, Justine. I'm sorry if the goddamn chicken got overcooked. Pass the cream. Thanks. What'd you get? What? What are you reading? Book about metals. Stress fractures in titanium. What kind of work you do? Lady, why are you so interested in what I read or what I do? I've seen you in the store from time to time. What store? I'm seeing Ingalls. I work there. Uh, you don't want to talk to me. It's okay. Sorry I bothered you. I didn't mean to be rude. I didn't recognize you. I work in metals. I'm a salesman. My name's Neil. I'm 80. You like working there? Sure. I get a discount. And there's a whole section of books in my area. What area is that? Graphic design. I do, um... Letterheads and logotypes at night and stores day job till I get enough going. Who do you do that for? Uh, a restaurant. I did their their menus and um, a small uh, record label. CDs. I've done two so far. You go to school for that? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I went to Parsons. Oh, where's that? New York City. And how long have you been in here? About a year. You like it? <laughs> Not really. I'm, I'm mostly here for the work. You live in this neighborhood? Uh, no, I live um, kind of above Sunset Plaza. It's, it's actually kind of a... It's a little house that I rent. It's just kind of run down, but a beautiful, beautiful view. What about you? I love up here. It's <laughs> very So where's your family from originally? Oh, uh, they're Scots-Irish. They, um, they immigrated to Appalachia in the late 1700s. Where are you from? Bay Area. Your folks there? Well, my mother died a long time ago. My father, I don't know where he is. Got a brother somewhere. You have a tight family, I can tell. Yeah. Right?
city lights. In Fiji, they have these iridescent algae that come out once a year in the water. That's what it looks like out there. You been there? No, I'm going there someday. Oh, yeah. You travel a lot? Yeah. Travel well, makes you lonely? Coming in for man, you crazy? This ain't Disneyland. You were man. supposed to get back to me last night. Where, where the fuck you been? I couldn't break free, Vincent. You know. Let's violate his ass right now. I do for you. You don't do for me. Is that it? Vincent, man, I swear, I, I was out all night, man. I'm, I'm hitting like one of them flamingo matador Which guys, flamingo? man. That's got nothing to do with you me. Know, I'm, I was cutting it real smooth. I'm generating leads and shit for you. I'm a dancer, man. You, you know. know shit. I paged your ass all day. I can't stand fucking oh, paged. Hey, you speed know. freak, jacking methamphetamine again. Oh, man, wh wh where's your empathy, brother? It's a substance of Empathy was yesterday. Today, you're wasting my motherfucking time. Vincent, man, look. Did you fall in love? Come on. Did you fall in love last night? You went off somewhere? Vincent. Just tell me that. I'll, I'll settle for it. You know what I mean? I'll buy that. V Vincent. Give me all you got! Vincent. Give me all you got! I swear, man, my brother, man, my brother, my brother Richard's gonna talk to you. Man. I heard Richard. He gonna talk to you. Richard? 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 He gonna meet you, man, I swear, tonight. He's not here, is he? No, he gonna meet you tonight. Tonight? What happened to right now? I I, I employed him because I knew you was coming this a.m. That's a bunch know. of bullshit. No, no, I swear, he he said no. Because he in Phoenix. Ah, uh, by Rick, the time listen, I get listen, to man, Phoenix, I swear, I swear, man, tonight's the best be I can rising. do for you. He'll probably leave a note. Right on the door. Tonight's the best I can do for you, man. You know? He'll meet, he'll meet you at BJ's on Alvarado at 2 a.m. Be there. Be you be there, too. <laughs> Vince, I can't be there, man. I got, I got things to do, Vince. I got things to do. I got, I got places to be. I got to be. What is it? It's a bank. 
It depots cash on Thursday for distribution in all the other branches yeah. to cover Friday payroll checks. So on Thursdays, the command branch has got a full whack. On a prowl or strong? Strong, through the front door. How many guys? Uh, four or three plus a driver. You walk in, you knock them over, you walk out. And you want 100,000 advance against a 10% cut for that? Uh-huh. Sounds like an address to a cowboy score. They hit the hold-up alarms. I got to get out of there before the cops show. What is that? They hit three hold-up alarm systems. Two telco and a cellular. I see, but the signals aren't going anywhere because... See, the night before, you cut in and trick out the alarm system computer to turn itself and the video recorders off 20 minutes before you walk in the door. Architectural, electrical, engineering plans. I got all I got schematics. I got the boards already built that go straight into the CPU. What's the estimate? 12.1, 12.2, 12.3, 12.4, 12.5, 12.6, 12.7, 12.8, 12.9, 12.10, 12.11, 12.12, 12.13, 12.14, 12.15, 12.16, 12.17, 12.18, 12.19, 
okay. Today we take delivery of cash from Van Zandt, then I drop a deposit on Kelso for this bank. Bank? What bank? What about the platinum thing next week the fall? That goes to then the bank. Want some breakfast? Yeah. You okay? Yeah, it's sure. okay. Yeah. For real. Okay. Gonna do good. I'll see you later. Michael? I'm down Bree. Pearson, my parole officer, told me to come by here and said you had a job for me. So you're familiar with this kind of operation, huh? Yeah, man, I'm a great grill man. Good, good for you. Here you'll mop out the toilets, hit the dishwasher, fuss tables, and empty the garbage too. Give me a hard time, I'll report you loaded, drunk, or stealing, and I will violate you back so fast you have a spin. 25% of your take home kicks back to me. Rules of the game. Paul Grierson, check it out. Change in the back. Well, what are you waiting for? Value equity and investments. Yeah, Roger Van Zandt. Like something? Give me your number and somebody will call you right back from a different line. 818-133-6089. Podríamos aplicar esta cantidad, es suficiente. Sí, sí. En cuanto la propiedad esté lista para ser tasada, deberíamos discutir los porcentajes. Package for you. There's a drive in on Sentinella, 2.30 tomorrow. Okay, just send one man along. He's nobody, Neil. Listen, Listen, he's a legit liquor wholesale sailor from Las Vegas. Alan Marciano. Chris is going to straighten it up with you. It's too late. I'm sick of it. I'm sick of it. Shut up! Here's the deal. You will give Chris one last shot. After that, he fucks up. Then I will finance setting you up myself. On my own. Any way you want. Dominic will go with you. And my word counts. But right now, you will give him the chance. Clean up, go home. Clean up, go home. All your money. So I was wondering, you're gonna get smoked with that shit. Right. I mean, you fool. They're coming in alone, sending two. Okay, got
Vincent, hey man. <laughs> Vincent. Hey Vincent, it's my brother, Richard, Richard, Vincent. Richard. So what do you got for me? Before we even get into that, there's this crew ripping rides all along the beach areas. Alright? Now the back of a trim shop on Irvine, if somebody wants to pay a little visit this weekend, they might find two turbos in a 911 slope. You're looking to rid yourself of your competition. Hey, I'm a good citizen. I'm Donald Duck. So you got something to tell me or what? Check this out, cuz. How do I know if I tell you what you need to know, you're gonna do what the fuck I need to get done? Richard, Manhattan's straight up, man. We do business all the time. I ain't your cuz, you rap motherfucker. And you know, cuz I say so. After. I hear what the fuck you gotta tell me. Look here, man. You understand what I'm saying? I get killed for telling you this shit. Kill walking your doggy. Alright. This is kind of I was locked up with the post. Did a couple of two, three years. He got out, and I ran into him. And so, he's a big fiend for action. Now, if he'd have said nothing, I'd have thought nothing. But he goes on and on running down to me how he ain't been doing nothing and nothing's been going on and all this other bullshit. So right then and there, I know this cat's got something going down. Pretty fucking great. Albert, what's wrong with you? You drag me here, waste my time like this. You saw a guy. On the street, who's an ex-con? That's right. Well, I am over fucking well. What do you want for that? A junior G-man badge? Look here, man. You gonna make the call on them portions or what? Is you kidding me? Hey, Vince, telling you, man, this slick is no motherfucking joke, man. You know what I'm saying? He's double time. Say what? Say what? What? You said slick. What does that mean? Slick. That's what he calls people. Slick. And tell me about him. About six feet tall, a lot of jailhouse tats. Got a big ass peacock right here. What's his name? Torito. Michael Torito. 33 busts since 1976. 11 for armed robbery, three convictions, two out of a three to five year beef in Attica, three years in Marion. Five years and pulls him off a knockback to involuntary manslaughter. Jacket's two inches thick. Okay, who do I have there now? Drucker and me, boss, and Schwartz. Tell SIS I want full surveillance. That's 24 hours, round the clock, day and night. We never close open seven days a week. But the car, the house, the work, when he moves or sits, like in a restaurant, I want pictures of who he moves and sits with. Then you guys run, makes on them, they got jackets. I want to see who they move and they sit with. I want it up and running by tomorrow night. Put your hands where I can see them. What? Put your hands where I can see them. All right. I tell you what to do, I tell you how to do it. Now, with your right hand only, your right hand only, take the package and throw it in here.
Yeah, Roger Van Zandt. Yeah, who's this? You know what this is. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. I sent a guy to deliver the package. He didn't call. Is everything right? Tell you what, forget the money. What? Forget the money. It's a lot of money. What are you doing? What do you mean, forget the money? What am I doing? I'm talking to an empty telephone. I don't understand. Because there was a dead man on the other end of this fucking line. Cerritos cruised the precious metals depository three times. Platinum, silver, and some bullion. Sammy and I think that's going to be their next score. Who's the loner? First time we're seeing him. We're not on him yet. I'll get on it. These guys walk out the door of whatever score they're gonna take next. They're gonna have the surprise of a lifetime. Hey, baby, time to go. I showed you good time, didn't I? Oh, yeah. You fly. You cool. You lying to me. I can always tell when people lie to me. Um, I ain't lying. You a hot dog. A regular rodeo rider. And this was the monster fuck of my young life. <laughs> <laughs> Now I got to get my ass street side sugar. You don't have a truth telling style. What are you talking about? You don't know what this is. The Grim Reaper's visiting with you.
been? She with Pelican Bay, New Folsom B Wing. I am a cowboy looking for anything heavy. Billy Ricketts said, Come see you. That is why I am here. Take his fingers, right, and fold them over one over the other, and then he turn his eyelids inside out and do front flip, hands out. That's mm -hmm. the truth. Mm -hmm. That's what's so wonderful about you in that bestial sort of way. Whoa. <laughs> She tells She's us to tell She died, Rachel. Beat her head in, same as the other, cerebral hematoma. Who's that? Mother and siblings, I guess. What the hell are they doing here? Because it's fucked up. Somebody inside knew the girl and called the family. Okay, let's go. Nice. When I run a DNA check on the semen, my intuition says it's coming up the same guy, so it's a series. Ending up in your court. Sheriff's homicide getting anywhere now? Not yet. Get off me. Get off of me. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh. Oh. Where did she go? Where's my baby? Yes, the earth shattered. So why didn't you let Bosco take you home? I didn't want to ruin their night, too. What was it? You don't want to know. I'd like to know what's behind that grim look on your face. Oh, I don't do that. You know it. Let's go. Come on. You never told me I'd be excluded. I told you when we hooked up, baby, that you were going to have to share me with all the bad people and all the ugly events on this planet. And I bought into that sharing because I love you. I love you fat, bald, money, no money, driving a bus. I don't care. 
but you have got to be present like a normal guy some of the time. That's sharing. This is not sharing. This is leftovers. Oh, I see. What I should do is uh, come home and say, hi, honey, guess what? I walked into this house today where this junky asshole just fried his baby in a microwave because it was crying too loud, so let me share that with you. Come on, let's share that. And in sharing it, we'll somehow uh, cathartically dispel all that heinous shit, right? Wrong. You know why? Because you prefer the normal routine. We fuck, then you lose the power of speech. Because I got a hold on to my angst. I preserve it because I need it. It keeps me sharp on the edge where I got to be. You don't live with me. You live among the remains of dead people. You sift through the detritus. You read the terrain. You search for signs of passing, for the scent of your prey, and then you hunt them down. That's the only thing you're committed to. The rest is the mess you leave as you pass through. What I don't understand is why I can't cut loose of you. Go, baby. I met the manager. Is that the boss? We get time for what that motherfucker does every day. Baby, can you just handle it till we find you something new? Can you do that? Ain't a hard time in a minute that I cannot handle. What you hanging with me for, Lily? Because I'm proud of you. <laughs> You're proud of me. separate you could meet me there but my job my... i got money you don't need money you could set up a studio to work there i don't know what's there to know are you married what you come and go the last thing i am is married i'm a needle starting at zero going the other way a double blanket and all of a sudden someone like you comes along You don't know me, Neil. I know enough. Come with me. What's wrong, baby? Nothing's wrong. Everything's right. Will you go?
Hey, sweetie. What happened? You forget your mom was picking you up? No. So what's going on? Felt like being alone. Okay. Come on, I'll drive you home. What's happening? Lieutenant, sir, Captain Jackson wants to know what's going on. Nothing's going on. Stay off the air. says me. Walk. I'm right there. We walk now.
Heads up. One's coming out. Just hold it, Captain. Vincent, he's not carrying anything. Yeah, I see. Here we go. Not till my boss says so. Vincent, both of them are not carrying anything. Okay, let him go. What do you mean? We can take him on. What? On what? What are you going to take him on? Breaking an entry? They didn't steal anything yet. Don't you get it? It gets knocked back to some chicken shit misdemeanor. They do six months and they're out. No fucking way. I'm not taking the heat from my bosses because you let them go. They're not walking. That's exactly what they're going to do. They're going to walk. This is my operation. I have tactical command that supersedes your rank. They will walk away and you will let them. Fuck! Gee, what? Where the fuck did this heat come from? Maybe it's the score they're on to. The place, not us. Because it's been hit a couple of times, you know, something. Assume they got our phones, assume they got our houses, assume they got us. Right here, right now, as we sit, everything. Assume it all. Now we're going to buy the bank package from Kelso. I'll front that. That's not a problem. Well, what the hell happens to Van Zandt or 750? Van Zandt, listen, with the heat we got, you want to play World War II in the streets with Van Zandt? No, I want my 750, and when he gets a pass... I got more motivation to whack Van Zandt than either of you. He is a fucking luxury. Our problem is take the bank or split right now. Do not go home, do not pack, nothing. 30 seconds flat from now, we are gone on our separate ways. That's it. Chris. The bank is worth the risk. I need it, brother. You should stay and take it down. That's where I come out. I roll with you, Neil. Whatever. Whatever. No, not on this one, Michael. On this one, you're on your own. Plans. I'm going away after. So for me, the reward is maybe worth the stretch. But Elaine takes good care of you. You got plenty put away. You got T-bonds, real estate. If I were you, I would be smart. I would cut loose of this. is the juice. Vincent Hanna, LAPD. LA, this is Las Vegas. You don't even have jurisdiction here. Hey, 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 I don't know who the fuck you guys think you're pushing around, but I know people here, okay? Las Vegas PD takes you into custody. You are extradited to Newark on a New Jersey warrant for smuggling cigarettes up from North Carolina three years ago, or you go to work for us. Cut and dry. That is it. Oh, shit. Charlene Scheherlis. Who? 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 Were you fucking owl? The lady you've been talking dirty to on telephone every day last week. Yeah, all right. You know what? You can't tie me to her. Well, who needs to? 
Because your ass is on a plane back to New Jersey, Jago. Oh, man. I just... Why'd I get mixed up with that bitch? Because she got a great ass! And you got your head all the way up it! Jesus. <laughs> Ferocious, aren't I? When I think of asses, woman's ass, something comes out of me. So? So? No big thing. All I want is her husband and his whole fucking crew. Now, you're going to work with Sergeant Trucker here. San Clemente Road, and Hermosa. Uh -huh. That's where we cut through the fence. That's the access. Right. The security systems around here are a joke. St. Vincent Thomas Bridge, that's escape route number one. Number two, over here, Anaheim to the 110. Good. Okay? Yeah, that's right. Got it? Good, let's go. They were looking back in this direction. A container facility for cartridge theft. Too visible. Too low ball for them. Next door is an oil refinery. Over there's a scrapyard. The refinery only pays by check. No cash around. Same for the scrapyard. Maybe they're stealing hubcaps. A refinery in a scrapyard. What the hell is going on? Well, that's what we're trying to figure out. We thought we had. Thought we had. I got an idea of what they're looking at. You want to know what they're looking at? I mean, is this guy something or is he something? This crew is good. You know what they're looking at? What? Us. The LAPD. The police department. We just got made. Yeah! Okay. Ha! Okay, motherfucker! Also come through. Yeah, I can build a bank with these. My name is Hannah. First name Vincent. I just made the sergeant advice five yards. Hannah's all over you. Then all the work cars. Michael's house. If you hear this, not yours. They've been losing you at night. And there's a hot dog. Graduate school. Marine Corps. Lieutenant Robbery Homicide, major crime unit. He's taken down some heavy crews. Blew away Frankie Yonder in Chicago. And he was a fucking maniac. He was working narcotics before that. Had some problems with the boss twice. Current wife's Justine. He's why the extra heat. The vice sergeant says Hannah likes you. Thinks you're some kind of star. You do this shot, you do that shot. Look how sharp this guy is to figure that. Funny as a heart attack, man. Three marriages, what the fuck do you think that means? He likes staying home? I mean, the man is one of those guys out there, prowling around all night, dedicated. With this guy, this much heat you should pass. It's 
worth the stretch. This guy can hit and miss. You can't miss once. You sure? I am sure. Let's go to the garage. Justine! Justine! Where are we going? Okay, where are you going? Out. Uh, yards or what? Am I close or far or what? 300 yards, center lane. How you doing? What do you say I buy you a cup of coffee? Yeah, sure, let's go. Follow me.
Seven years in Folsom. In the hole for three. McNeil before that. McNeil is tough as they say. You're looking to become a penologist? You're looking to go back? You know, I chase down some crews, guys just looking to fuck up, get busted back. That you? You must have worked some dipshit crews. I worked all kinds. You see me doing throat seeker liquor store hold ups with a born to lose tattoo on my chest? No, I do not. Right. I am never going back. Then don't take down scores. I do what I do best. I take scores. You do what you do best, trying to stop guys like me. So you never wanted a regular type life? The fuck is that? Barbecues and ball games? Yeah. This regular type life, that your life? My life? No, my life. No, my life's a disaster zone. I got a stepdaughter so fucked up because her real father's this large type asshole. I got a wife. We're passing each other on the downslope of a marriage, my third. Because I spend all my time chasing guys like you around the block. That's my life. Guy told me one time, don't let yourself get attached to anything you are not willing to walk out on in 30 seconds flat if you feel the heat around the corner. Now, if you're on me and you got to move when I move, how do you expect to keep a, a marriage? Well, that's an interesting point. What are you, a monk? I have a woman. What do you tell her? I tell her I'm a salesman. So then, if you spot me coming around that corner, you're just gonna walk out on this woman? Not say goodbye? That's the discipline. That's pretty vacant, no? Yeah, it is what it is. It's that or we both better go do something else, pal. I don't know how to do anything else. Neither do I. I don't much want to either. Neither do I. You know, I have this uh, recurring dream. I'm sitting at this big banquet table, and all the victims of all the murders I ever worked are sitting at this table, and they're staring at me with these black eyeballs because they got eight ball hemorrhages from the head wounds. And there they are, these big balloon people, because I found them two weeks after they'd been under the bed. The neighbors reported the smell. And there they are, all of them just sitting there. What do they say? Nothing. No talk? No. Just, they don't have anything to say. See, we just look at each other. They look at me. And that's it, that's the dream. I have one where I'm drowning. And I gotta wake myself up and stop breathing while I die in my sleep. You know what that's about? Yeah, having enough time. Enough time to do what you wanna do? That's right. You doing it now? Not, not yet. You know, we're sitting here you and I are like a couple of regular fellows. I mean, you do what you do, I do what I gotta do. And now that we've been face to face, if I'm there and I gotta put you away, I won't like it. But I'll tell you, if it's between you and some poor bastard whose wife you're gonna turn into a widow, brother, you are going down.
There's a flip side to that coin. What if you do got me boxed in? And I gotta put you down. Because no matter what, you will not get in my way. We've been face to face, yeah. But I will not hesitate. Not for a second. Maybe that's the way it'll be. Or, who knows? Or well, maybe we'll never see each other again. They dumped us. What? They dumped us. What do you mean, they dumped us? Chris slipped his tail. He doesn't talk about their scores with Charlene, so there's nothing for me to get from Marciano. I just tried. What about Cerrito? Same. Transponders got put on a bus to San Clemente. They dumped all our surveillance? Yeah. At the same time, 9 p.m. I had coffee with Macaulay half an hour ago! We were on you. Then Macaulay drives into LAX where surveillance can't fly over because of flight paths. His car's still there. He's gone. Does anybody have any idea where the fuck these people are? bothers me more. Where's this guy? This guy here. We put him on. He says he knows Macaulay. Who are you? Wayne Grow. My name's Wayne Grow. I've been living in this office day and night. How well do you know him? Oh, we took some major scores together. How come I haven't heard from him? Well, he's probably busy right now. But he's real thorough. He ain't gonna forget about you. Oh, that's reassuring. Well, I got some moves I could make here. Probably be a big help to you. the grill man. Yeah. Awesome. Deep line. How's with Belby Rush? They got my break yet, man. Cisco and Poncho didn't show. Pull out the garbage. Knock out the back. Take your break later. Piece of shit. Pick up! Where the hell is he? Check the slot for a work car. So did I. Yeah. Hang on. Yeah. Hey, use the landline. Call me at 1037 206. all over me, man. They're on me like a cheap suit. I can't dump them. They hit 
after the fact squad. No, no, they're doing parallels. I can try to dump them again. How are we going to know if you did? If you didn't, you'll throw them to us. If you Ventura, pull them out of here. All right. Hey, I'm sorry, man. Last thing I want to do is let you down. money, not your money. Your money is insured by the federal government. You're not going to lose a dime. Think of your families. Don't risk your life. Don't try and be a hero. Right now, I want you to sit on the floor and put your hands on your head. Anybody feel sick? Anybody got heart trouble? Go ahead and lean against the wall. Give me the key. Get out! And stay out! Sit there. Sit there. Don't move. Let it bleed. Oh, 
look at Lay me down, again. Down, down, down. Put down. your hand down. God. Down, down. Hey, Cassell. Yeah. You guys working the case on the Neil McCauley? The CI Hugh Benny called in about a bank they're looking at or something? Vincent! Far East National Bank 1130! Block at Figueroa and Fifth, and I want to block Northbound Flower at Sixth. Okay, we're gonna have to take them in the car. Wait till they are all in. Get clean shots. Watch your background. Police, move! Move, 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 get down.
Tragedy in a Southland neighborhood today. A bank robbery spilled out into the street. Claudia Newman, live on the scene. She has the latest. Claudia? This afternoon, this neighborhood was terrorized by a bank holdup gone wrong. With the streets full of midday shoppers and kids, police and armed robbers... Excuse me, uh, bartender. Hello, Robbery, pursuit, and finally death among them. Michael Chirito is one of four men involved in the Foil Bank robbery. What's going to get in this? Also fatally wounded another suspect, Donald Breeden. He died yes. from multiple gunshot wounds during the extensive gunfire between police and suspects. All right, hold him, hold him. All right, all right. So, he's got blood loss and shock. I'm going to give you quarter grain vials of morphine for the pain, okay? Subcutaneous injection. Bottom line. It's mostly tissue damage, which is good. But it's, uh, clavicle's fractured. Can you rest for a while? Six, seven hours. That's it? That's it. Take off your shirt. What? Take off your shirt. What? My daughter gave it to me for father. I don't give a shit who gave it to you. Take it off. Chris. Chris. Listen to me. Mm -hmm. Nate's gonna pick you up. He's gonna take you to his place. Where's Charlene? We gotta get out of here. We're all over the six o'clock news. Mm -hmm. We gotta get out of here. I'm not going without her. Think about that. I will meet you at Nate's. Where are you going? I gotta find out if our route got spilled along with every other damn thing. Who did it? Who wasn't there? Treo. I'll see you at Nate's. You still want me? You come down here right now when you get me. Don't listen to me. Okay? Okay, baby. Okay. I'll be there in two hours, all right? Okay? All right. God damn you, Chris. God damn you. You're on a plane for Los Angeles. Right.
Why did you do it? What happened? They made me. Who? Where's Anna? She's dead. <laughs> so is Mike on Green, the guy who stood in for you. Who did it? Who did it? They had Anna, man. Who had her? Wayne Grow. Wayne Grow. On his own? Say anything about how we're getting out? I don't think so, man. Come on. I don't remember me. I'll call a medic. I'm not gonna make it. I can't feel nothing. My hand is gone. Cellular is a hard line. It's a no one. Your guy lives on Hillside Terrace, Encino. 10725. 10725. Okay. Chris. Excuse me, my place. Next, Wayne Grove, okay? You got the time. I'll make time. And I need a new outlay on. How do you know it's blown? How can I trust it? Okay, you got him. Stay healthy. Charlene Sherry. Rucker's got a safe house in Venice to stash her in. On Neil's transportation. When we're done here, get on the phone. Somewhere, someone's trying to put it together for him. You, you don't believe him, Collie? Oh, he had to get away late on. Sure he did. Now he needs another one. Would you trust yours after this afternoon? This rat motherfucker, where do we get him? He's a CI for a burglary cop. Called in the tip on the bank. Oh, Neil McCauley. How much time we got? Eight, ten hours for him to set up a new out. After that, he's gone. Bye bye. Bam! Macaulay to us. How'd you know? Who told you? Who told you, you rat motherfucker? Who? Wayne where is he? Where is he? How the hell would I know?
Oh, you slimy piece of shit. Well, you want it out from under, right? You scared to death, right? You want out, this is out, Charlene. Yeah, what's your end? I hate you, stupid broad. <laughs> Hey, 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 easy. Huh? You heard me. She had a rough ride. She fix her drink or something. Look in the cabinet above the sink. Fuck her. You better get All in right, there and right. stay in there. Wait, look in here. My name is Sergeant Drucker, LAPD homicide. You want to put Dominic in the bedroom? He stays with me. So what now? Well, he's right. Because you want out, this is out. Can you believe you have to betray Chris? No shit. That's right. You would have to. See, if you don't betray Chris, you victimize Dominic. Because he becomes an orphan when you go to prison as an accessory because you got no living parents to take him. So he ends up state-raised in foster homes, juvenile facilities. Then he steals a car. Then he winds up in gladiator academies like Chino and Tracy. Fucked for life. You know what happens, because you've been there. Dominic didn't get a chance yet to choose his life, but Chris did. If you give up, Chris, you get off clean. You can do it for your kids so you can raise him. What else are you selling? All kinds of shit. But I don't have to sell this, and you know it, because this kind of shit here sells itself. OK, Danny, here's an update. Hey, Schwartz, truck is on line two. Lieutenant, hold on for a second. Lieutenant, I have Sergeant Trucker on the other line. Oh, conference him in. I'll go ahead. Vincent. It's me. I want to answer. What's it going to be? We're set here. She'll make the call. OK, that's good. Uh, here's the deal here. You, Benny, has reformed his wayward life and become a born-again good citizen. Apparently, Neil got sold out to us by this cowboy named Wayne Grove. Wengro used to be a part of Neil's crew. Then he went to work for a money launderer named Van Zandt. Units are at Van Zandt's house as we speak because he got shot dead earlier tonight. Now, if Neil goes after anybody else, it's going to be Wengro. Mm -hmm. Wengro just got himself a suite at the airport marquee under the name Jameson. He's there now. I want you to get that to bail bondsmen, bookies, assignment offices, and snitches in county. Anyone you can think of will put it on the street. Deploy a team down at the hotel and personally check their comms every 30 minutes because maybe Neil will go for them. Okay? How you feeling? Banged up, but I'll live. Okay. He's here. Neil is still here. I can feel it. How the hell long? Metal. Would have been okay. You fly out after. Now it's Jan. So we gotta go together. Those, those other people were with you. My friend Mike. You know the risk. You didn't have to be there. Ranger, you got wet. The pack. Let's go.
Everything's, everything's gonna be all right. address level D slot 18. Get some cash. When's it over? 22 hours from now. Then we get out of here clean. When will you let me leave? Go now. You want out? There's the door. Will you let me leave later? It will be different. Do you understand? It's ready. Vincent. This is my friend, Ralph. You didn't tell me you were... Oh, my God. Where's Laura? She's at Lisa Beth's. Look, this has nothing to do with me. I didn't know. I'm terribly sorry. What are you sorry about? Sit down. Don't you even get angry? I'm angry. Oh. Yeah? I'm very angry. Ralph, you know, you can ball my wife if she wants you to. You can lounge around here on her sofa in her ex-husband's dead tech post-modernistic bullshit house if you want to. But you do not get to watch my fucking television set. Put the television set down. I never cheated on you, you bitch. Well, maybe you should have. You should have? For the way you're part of it is. Oh, yeah, I made Ralph fuck you because it makes me feel good. Our situation is absurd. Uh, look, maybe hey, I should. Shut up, Ralph! Shut up! Well, why is it that I have to figure things out and explain them to you? What do you do? I say what I mean and I do what I say. Mm, how admirable. You bet. Except none of it's about us. No. I may be stoned on grass and Prozac, but you've been walking through our life dead. And now I have to demean myself with Ralph just to get closure with you. Passports, driver's checks, plastic. The plane. Charter terminal, LAX, hangar 17. Call it as a 1011 Sierra. Pushes down. All's for you. Five minutes, then splits. The plane will stand an FAA check. Find a flight plan that works. Hey, where's Chris? He's gone. What? Said he's going on his own. Went to look for Charlene. Didn't you bring him here? Yeah, I brought him here. What happened? It's a free country, brother. Check in with me. Nine. Everything's still cool. short. Whatever time you get is luck. You want to walk? You walk right now. Or on your own. 
on your own. You choose to come with me. But all I know is... All I know is there's no point in me going anywhere anymore. I'm just going to be alone. Without you. Come on, sugar, show yourself. Yeah, do it. Shut up! Now, just one second at the window. Barista's grocery on Dell Avenue. Got cars on the It's not him. It's not Chris. Unit two, this is command. Take him at the street and check him out. Yeah. This guy's John Peterson. Valid ID. Car's registered to the last name Glukowski. First name Gene. Ran it to DMV. It's clean. Let him go. Roger. Thank you very much. Have a good evening. It's a no-go, Vince. Would you like a cup of coffee while we wait, Mrs. Sihirlis? 
Yeah, that'd be nice. Yeah, what do you got? Nothing's happening. Yeah. Hello, it's Vincent. What do you got? Nothing's going on. Wango went for ice. That's it. You know what? Neil is gone. Bam! Flying like a bird. Come on, Vincent, how do you know? We still got bait. Maybe got, some time. Got, got, what do we got? What do we got? Bon voyage, motherfucker. You were good. I'm going to the hotel. I'm gonna take a shower. I'm gonna sleep for a month. Shoot the shells all fucking day, not you, baby. Not you. What, 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 where would she be? I mean, her name is Lauren. Lauren Gustafson, and she's supposed to be here with, with the police. Please. Calm down. Is she on any drugs? No. 
All right, I want you to get a trauma surgeon down here and a vascular surgeon. I think she cut both arteries. Also, I can hardly feel her pulse. Her pressure's way down, so is her respiration. So you're gonna have to innovate her. When's the last time anybody saw her? I don't know. Where did you find her? Bathtub. Call respiratory stat. Give a large bore normal saline, wide open. Let's keep pressure on those bleeders. I need two units O negative now. Let's type and cross her for six. Where is respiratory? We need some more help. Can you have respiratory come down now? Let's have x-ray ready for post intubation chest x-ray. Your daughter's out of surgery and she's in the recovery room now, okay? Her vital signs are stable. The surgeon will be out to speak to you in a few moments and let you know what's going on. She's okay. She's doing good. She's gonna be okay. She's gonna be okay. She's gonna be okay. It's all right. Why did you do this to herself? Why? Look what she did. Look what she did to herself. It's all right. It's gonna be all right. Yeah. I ain't going anywhere. Yeah. It's me. Plane's in the air now. We run out of time. On the driver's end, I still can't find nobody, so that's in the trust. One other thing. You asked, so I gotta tell you. The guy you wanted checked into the Hotel Marquis on the Jameson, if you still give a shit. Which I figured you wouldn't. You figured right. So, so long, brother. You take it easy. You're home free. Take it easy. Take care of something. Is there time? There's time. Right back. Leave a run. Yeah, this is room service. Uh, Jameson ordered a BLT and they screwed up his room number. Could you give it to me, please? Yeah, I know. 1735. Thank you.
Wingrove's not moving. I'm staying here. I'm checking the stairs. If there's smoke, I'm pulling you out. Your attention, please. What about her dad? You want me to call him? He's somewhere in the Sierras. And she chose you. She picked your place. It's not right what happened to her. No, it's not. Is there any way that it could work out between us? I wish I could say yes, you know. But in the end... You know, it's like you said. All I am is what I'm going after. What you want, Justine? Well, go on if you have to. Oh. I'll stay. No, I'm I'm okay. I can I can handle this. <sighs> Just be careful. Call me here. Let me know you're okay. Yeah. Security, there's a fire on three. We have to evacuate all the floors. I can't leave here. Look, why don't we just talk about this a bit, huh, brother? Look at me. Look at me. Look at me.
lobby level by the stairwell. What do you got? Three teams are moving up the other three elevators to the 17th floor elevators. All out of commission because of the fire alarm. It's a mess. People everywhere. Fine. Ten four.
told you I'm never going back. 